Hello friends, today we are going to start our session by a topic of primitive network. Before we go through the explanation of primitive network, we go to uh, understand the representations of Ohm's law. In Ohm's law, that we know that the voltage across the terminal of the vo of uh, an element is equal to uh, the resistance of that element multiplied by the current flowing through that element, or the voltage across the terminals of that element is equal to in a in in, in a in gender form. The voltage across the terminals of uh, the element is equal to the impedance of that element multiplied by the current flowing through that element. This portion is impedance. And we know that impedance is equal to 1 upon inverse of admittance. Why is admittance 1 form of representation is V voltage is equal to the impedance multiplied by the current or the voltage is equal to 1 upon impedance into current if you multiply by the both the sides with the impedance we got we will get a current is equal to the admittance into voltage. This is admittance. We had all addition. Two types of representation. This portion, if you call for example, This element, this is voltage across the terminals. For example, this terminal 1 and this terminal 2. This portion we call it Z. And the current flowing we call it I. Now, we go through the primitive network. What really primitive network means, it has been taken, I think, from a word of prime, that prime means main or original. Primitive network gives the characteristics of each element of network individually. It means the individual characteristics of each element of a network can be given by the analysis of the primitive network. For example, if you have a simple single li line diagram of a network, one generator grounded then connected to one bus bar we call it G generator one bus bar one and transmission line then bus bar two then transformer then bus bar three connected to the load 
This is our example, simple example of single line diagram of a network that we have given. Now, I want to analyze one of the element of a network separately. I bring it out. This generator. This portion of bus bar I call number two. And the ground terminal I call number one terminal. G1. I want to analyze and I want to give the properties, the characteristics of this element, the behavior of this element, with respect to all of the elements present in our system, then it's called primitive network analysis. Now, how to represent it? There are two types of representation of this element that I have brought it out I want to analyze and give. I, I want to uh, represent the characteristics separately in two forms. One is an equation of voltage is equal to the impedance into the current. Another type of giving the characteristics is current is equal to admittance into the voltage. This form, in the form of impedance, if we represent this element in the form of the equation of impedance, that's called primitive impedance network. And if we represent in the form of the admittance, It is called primitive admittance, pre admittance network. How I represent this element in the form of impedance, primitive network? I call one terminal by the name of I in general form, another ter terminal by the name of J, then the, the, the self and mutual impedance of this element, this element, the self impedance of generator, our consideration, under consideration element, and maybe the mutual impedance of this element with another elements present in our network. I call Z I J. Some of our the the elements, some of the elements, for example, generator has the internal EMF. It, we represent it as E I J. We connect in series with our impedance. The voltage across these two terminals we call VIJ in general form. The current flowing through the element I call it I. We know that VIJ is equal to VI minus VJ. This is simple portion of basics of electrical engineering and in the form of admittance this is in the form of impedance in the form of admittance we can represent one current source I call it I
these are our two terminals J and I and admittance I J this is B I J the voltage across the terminals the current the admittance and the voltage this type of representation is called primitive admittance representation this type of representation is called primitive admittance representation impedance representation and admittance representation now to have a good review what really primitive network means in our simple system I have drawn here if you have one network here we separate one of the element we represent the characteristics of that element that is voltage current and impedance or admittance we take it separately then we find the characteristics we represent the characteristics in two forms one is primitive admittance representation another is primitive a primitive impedance admit, uh, representation and primitive admittance representation in the next lecture we will uh, go through a good enough example for understanding the primitive network.